Bachelor of Science degree at Brigham Young University, has his master's from North Carolina State with an emphasis in e-commerce and information management systems. He's worked for the Research Triangle Institute with the Department of Defense and, EP and the EPA as clients. He had moved to Vero Beach in 1999 where he was recruited to work for eCalcom.com where he became a lead programmer there, was eventually promoted to Vice President of Operations where he was in charge of our disaster and recovery plans. We're very thankful to the twins that visited in 2004, Jean and Francis, and their sister Wilma came through in 2006. We got to practice, we got to implement, we had to improve. Our company has moved three times during those hard times to make sure that our company stayed up and running because our clients aren't here. They don't care that we were hit by a hurricane. They were nice, but their businesses still had to run. So we got to practice it, we got very good at it, and hopefully we'll be able to impart some of that to you today. Um, Greg has a unique ability to be able to translate tech in English. So hopefully what you hear today you'll be able to take it into use in your business, and if you have any questions, please direct them to Greg. But without further ado, Mr. Greg Bray. Even when everything else is being nice to you, 
Computers are mechanical devices that will fail eventually. All hardware fails eventually. Um, that's why they will give you three year warranties on things, because they know eventually it's going to fail. Uh, so you need to be prepared for that. So these are just some of the nasty things that we're, we're trying to prevent against. But as you, as you look at <clears throat> what's involved in all of that, quite often we put something in place that only protects against one of those, or, or a couple of those. And we don't think about all the different ramifications and, and the fact that we need to be defending ourselves against all of those. So I had to keep your business running in the midst of one of these disasters. Come on in, no problem. Um, you need to protect the critical data. You need to protect your communications so that if your office isn't functioning normally and you communicate with your employees, with your customers and clients, um, that includes email, phone fax, your website. You want to protect what I call the operational ability, your ability to function. Um, now, <clears throat> if, if you're a company that's got some type of a manufacturing facility, that's a little different discussion and, and beyond the scope of, of what we're here today. But for those of you who are dealing with information, Okay, your, your normal operations are pushing documents around and, and data and you know, creating information or consuming information for your, for your customers and clients. That's, that's what we're going to talk about from an operational standpoint, your ability to keep, keep functioning. And then of course, you've got to protect your physical assets, the, the, the actual items in the office. Um, and, and we're going to touch on each of these today as part of our discussion. Um, data, however, is the most important one of that whole list. We go into a lot of our clients and we start talking about backups. Oh yeah, we do backups. Okay. What, tell me about your backups. Well, the guy who set up the server, there's this little pink thing in front, and Mary over here is responsible for every day for putting the new tape in there. And that's our backup. Okay. <coughs> so, what, what's on that tape? What do you do with that tape? Has anybody ever... Touch that tape. Oh, does Mary know that she's supposed to do that every day? Well, I thought she was doing it. <laughs> oh, well, Mary thought that Fred was doing it, and now nobody's been doing it. Um, the fact is, when that was set up, all your data was in this one spot on the server, right? And everybody always saves everything to the server like they're supposed to. Okay? Everybody does, right, Sean? Everybody in your place, they always save it to the server. Never save it on the desktop. Okay? They never save it on the desktop. Or, or they never put it on a flash drive, they never email it home, you know, and, and do other things with it. All right, so, so where is the data? The fact is, what happens when that data size doubles, which is happening faster and faster now, as, as we create more and more information and, and documents and data? Um, <clears throat> who's checking to make sure that this thing actually works, that there are not failures, that that, that tape drive is still functioning properly because the time you don't want to find out that your tape drive didn't have it all there is when you're trying to restore the data that's already gone. That's the wrong time to do that. 